today. The former president of the Outdoor Writers Association of America, Michigan's uh, most beloved outdoor writer, Tom Hugler. Happy hunting day to you, sir. Hey, thank you. How are you, Michael Patrick? I'm, I'm great. It's one of these traditions we like to rally around on this program because we have listeners all across the state in different locations. And where, where, where will most of the hunters be today, if you know? Oh, they'll be scattered throughout the state. I would still say the northern lower peninsula gets the brunt of the hunting pressure, although in recent years more and more people hunt southern Michigan, which is where I am now in Ionia County. In fact, you called just in time. My grandson's up from Florida. I got another young man that we're all going out hunting, and, uh, you know, the guns will start going off about 7 o'clock. First light is uh, technically when you can start shooting, right? That's correct. Yep. You want to make sure you got a, your target in sight and you're clear and identified what it is. But that happens shortly, right around 7 or shortly thereafter. Probably the first gunshot I'll hear by 7.10 this morning. Wow. Is it your sense that a lot of people come from outside Michigan to hunt here, too? We do. We do have a lot of non-residents in Michigan. We sure do. It's it's uh, considered a, one of the best deer hunting states in the, in the nation for white-tailed deer. And, of course, we have more public land east of the Mississippi than any other state. So there's lots of places to go hunting in Michigan. I think the deer herd, at least in this area, is down slightly, and that's largely due to the EHD issue a year ago, the epizootic hemorrhagic disease that killed a lot of deer. It's also called blue tongue. In this area, it hit them pretty hard. So I'm not seeing as many deer, but there are some nice rack animals, and I uh, hope my grandson can connect. How old is he? He's 13. This uh -huh. is his first year of deer hunting. I picked him up uh, from the airport in Flint last night, and uh, he's rocking and rolling. He's ready to go. Well, what are the last things you're going to say to him for, from a safety standpoint? Because I know there's a big movement in the legislature and here in Michigan to introduce hunting to younger people. What's the little menu of things that you'll tell him before you go out? Well, he's already got it. Make sure of your target. Keep your safety on. Keep your gun up. And he knows all this because all hunters have to go through hunter safety. That's the law. And it's a good law. And actually, the number of fatalities and injuries in deer hunting has gone down in recent years, and it's largely because of that and the Blaze Orange Law. So those, those are two excellent. Uh, the legislature did it right when they passed those two. Is the Blaze Orange Law the, the, what it sounds like? You have to wear a bright orange color? Right. You have to wear, I think the law says 400 square inches. I mean, you've got to be a signpost out there so people can see you. And when I started hunting back in the 60s, you know, everybody wore buffalo plaid, red and black. And sometimes it was hard to see people. But now with blaze orange, I mean, they mm. stick out like, an, like a pumpkin in the woods. And that's what you want. <laughs>